Hello YouTube! There's a lot going on in my room at the moment. This is a very old PC as you can see. But that's not the point of this video. I will make a video of that thing soon. It needs a new sound card and uh, once that's in, I'm gonna make a video of that PC right there. But for now it's about this one. This case has been shown many times before. It had a couple of different PCs in it. And uh, for now it's gonna be housing my Pentium 4 system. I had a Pentium 4 system before with uh, an ASRock board and that board just decided to, you know, to crap out all of a sudden. The only thing I did was I swapped the discs. The discs I had in there were, let's see, what I, uh, let's see. This was a little 20 gig and uh, this is a Quantum Fireball 15 gig drive. I mean, they were my Pentium 3, then I moved them into my Pentium 4 because, well, why not, right? But uh, that's the only thing that really changed. I swapped them for this 80 gig Seagate and the board just refused to post. I disconnect the IDE cable, try it again, refused to post. It wouldn't even do the memory check, which kind of pissed me off. But, uh, you know, it's dead now, so I guess it's time to move on. So I ordered a new Socket 478 board from the internet, of course. And uh, the text is actually pretty prominent here in the... Uh, and if you, it's the Asus P4P800-E, which is a very, very interesting motherboard with a lot of features. So it's a socket 478. It has four RAM slots. Let's see if I can actually get the lighting a bit to improve. All right, so it has four RAM slots. It has an AGP 8x slot. Has five PCI slots, and that's pretty much it. Uh, in terms of connectivity for peripherals, we have uh, one, two, three, four SATA ports. This is an IDE RAID connector. Just regular 40 pin IDE, but this board supports IDE RAID. There are two other uh, IDE connectors back there. Just have to trust me on that. Okay, that's a bit more light. There we go. Ah, yes, that's much better. So. It's got uh, one, two, three IDE ports, a floppy connector, whatever. Some nice headers, it even has firewire. There's a firewire header right down there. That's the red header over there. And of course, a serial header, parallel, what, whatever. And this rear obscure connector right here. I wonder if I can actually get that in view. Yes, that black bar down here. That's actually. It, it says Wi-Fi on the motherboard, so it's probably from some proprietary Wi-Fi module. I don't really have it, so I don't know what it is about. But anywho, so uh, there is a, the other components of the system is a 2.66 GHz Pentium 4 CPU, 80 GB Seagate IDE hard drive, uh, two IDE optical drives, a DVD ROM and a CD burner. The DVD drive only reads DVDs, so I kind of need that CD-ROM drive. It's floppy on top, but it's not connected, so... I don't need floppies. I really don't. And, uh... 300-watt QTEC power supply. Support for Pentium 4. Hell yes! So this is basically mostly a video about this, uh, this board here. I can't really boot up the PC, there's no OS on there. So... And, uh, it has a gig of RAM in there. I'm going to upgrade it to 2 gigs. I have some modules laying around. So I can have dual channel 2 gigs of DDR. That should be pretty fast. And of course, I put the, in this uh, G46200 card I had laying around. An 80mm Freckle Design Cooler, or cooling fan. And this is, of course, the stock Intel 478 heatsink. I know it's a bit chaotic right now, but. Uh, oh, whoops. This is a client's uh, laptop I'm fixing up, so. Uh, I don't want it to boot from the USB drive. Thank you very much. Let's reboot that. Okay. I'll get to that uh, after I finish this video. So, yeah, that's basically the overview of my uh, Asus P4P800 e board. I will make a video once this system is complete and up and running. I just need to get Windows loaded on there and the drivers and whatnot. And then uh, I'll see what I do with it. And pretty much concludes this video for today on the Asus P4P800-E 478 motherboard. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed this video somewhat, and thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the follow-up video.